So, <clears throat> rear windshield wiper stopped working last night and couldn't figure out why. Decided to uh, just open things up, pop this wiring harness off here and I notice these wires are just broken. So, I put the key in the ignition, turned it on, uh, well, short story, long story, I don't know which one it is, but my multimeter had battery corrosive in it, so I couldn't use it. So I pulled out one of these handy guys here. Just a basic on off. Um, put the wiper motor on, added power to, uh, well, turn it on and see it was this one here that was getting hot. So I'm gonna hook all these back up. Sorry, it uh, looks like it's black. Um, and we'll see if uh, that fixes things. All right. So, first things first, you got to take this stuff off, and it's getting quite brittle, as you can see. Um, it just kind of cuts or tears off. So give yourself some space so that you can either splice or solder these wires back together. So get some of this guy off. Um, I'd leave it on as much as you can up there, just. For extra protection but where your wires brittle and you're going to replace get it off so here's a little bit closer view as you can see some of these wires here have straight up snapped so i don't know if it's when somebody opened the hatch and just let it fling up or what but straight up snapped in half the other ones you can see the material that made the wiring sheath out of is like brittle not on all of them so this big black one isn't but the red and putrid green and the brown one and a few of the other ones are showing some sign there's like a weird striping on this white one back here too where it's just splitting so the ones that have snapped i think i'm going to add uh, a wiring connector in there and crimp it and the other ones i'm just going to use uh, electrical tape and wrap it up um, and I'll probably put some electrical tape around the whole thing too. Um, it's weird that it, it's like it overextended these and straight up snapped the wires. So there's obviously been some pressure on there. All right. We're going to get some of these, clean some of these off. So get enough wire in there so you can crimp it on. It's probably a little bit too much, but should be working with the, GoPro instead of this iPhone, <laughs> so I can use two hands. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I cleaned up some of the wire. Gonna put on a couple of these crimp pieces. So get it right up in there. Put it on both sides of the wire. And crimp away. Try and use the smallest size possible, so it's probably going to be a red one on this one. <clears throat> Alright, change of plans. The black wire here is long enough to where this is open, the, the hatch is fully open, extended all the way. Um, and the black wire has, or the dark wire has enough space to be able to solder. The green and white wire, however, you can see this quite a short distance in between the wires, if not, and I'm sure that's why it snapped. So I think I'm gonna use the crimping tool on the green one, give it a little bit of extra length, and I'm gonna solder the black one together. All right, we'll solder first. The, the reason I decided to do that also is there's not much room in there to be adding a bunch of these connectors um, right next to each other, bulge everything out and could cause more issues. All right. All right, put some flex on there. Make sure it's nice and clean so that solder's gonna um, connect properly. And you wanna get these guys nice and warm before you touch the solder to it. For those of you who like to sniff stuff, I suggest you don't sniff this stuff. It doesn't uh, look too appealing. All right, I soldered it. It's hideous, but it'll hold. It is horrific trying to work in tight conditions, so. Um, 
All right, I'll show you what it looks like when I put on this uh, crimper. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this thing up uh, before I start crimping the other thing just because it's gonna be harder and harder to get to the wires in the back. So electrical tape takes up less space than the crimp piece. Uh, I'll start taping them. All right, one tape blob. This uh, tape back up in here that they already had on from the manufacturer, this stuff leaves like a real sticky, gross residue. So while you're working with it, um, you gotta get it all over your hands like this. And it makes it <clears throat> so the tape doesn't like to really stick to it, but I think it's part of the issue. It's good reason to be using flux when you're doing that soldering too. Cause it's just, there's a lot of impurities going on in here and you want everything to try and stick as well as possible. So Let's tape some more stuff up. All right, <clears throat> that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Uh, it's not going to be fun at all. It's tiny wires. You just want to try and put it on as much, uh, all the bare wire you see uh, without disturbing the other wires around. So, like I said, there's a bunch of uh, contaminants and stuff in there, but just try and get, yeah, just get in there with your small hands. It could be a nice job for your, if you know somebody has small hands as possible. If you got big bare paws, that's not going to work too well for you. All right, I'm gonna um, crimp this piece on and then tape everything up and we'll start from there. All right, I'm trying to do this, uh, holding the camera. I just wanna get this on there a little bit. It's kind of, you can either crimp it at both ends or in the middle or both. I want to crimp it at one end here to hold it in place so that it gives me that little bit of extra length. Hokey, probably. Cheaper than wire harness, definitely. I hope I don't ever have to come back in here again now. So, let's see if we can see here. There's your crimper. Give it a squeeze. Give it a nice little tug, make sure it doesn't come off. Good. So you can see right at the end, I got a bit of wire there. Um, I'm gonna be taping this anyway, so. Like I said, I wanted to do it this way to get a little bit extra length. All right. Got it crimped. Give it a pull on each side. It's not fun at all. But as you can see, it's long enough to where it's not gonna break again unless you let your buddy mess around with it. So, uh, tuck this tape back up around in here. I chuck some more electrical tape on here just in case some of the ones on the outside get bare again. And I'll show you what it's like when I'm done. All right, no visible wires, bare. Um, one last, put this wire harness back around it. And uh, sorry, the wire harness rubber boot. There was a tear in mine too, so I might electrical tape the crap out of that and put it back on and uh, shove it back up in here. And then we'll have the moment of truth. Turn on the windshield wiper and see if it works. What bare wires? <laughs> all right, we got this thing all electrical taped up. I'm gonna slide this rubber grommet back on. And uh, Shove it in the hole, as they say. Somewhere. I don't know why they say that, but. All right, we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape on here at the end, too. Um, for pretense, probably. All right. All right. Got some nice electrical tape on there. I reckon it's about four cents worth. So, with that other piece, chunk of solder, a little bit of flux. I think we're coming in at about 10 cents today. Let's see if this thing works. Ooh, even has a nice little squeak when you close it now. All right. That's the thing that was not working. So you can see how I kept squirting water. Water kept working. Um, but I'm sure why it wasn't.
Safety first. Thanks. Good luck, guys.